and that's it. They get the order that night to leave, and they come up with a plan. They actually follow rope. They put rope at night down towards the river where they're going to get extracted, and at night they attempt to follow that rope down there and of course along the way they lose more men men get separated men don't hang on they get lost and they lose even more men as they're trying to make it to their extraction point but he does get, end up with a small group of people at this extraction point there's Canadian boats there to bring them across the Rhine River back to the book the Canadians were already pulling the last men into the boat and I was standing with Harrison alone in the river when I heard a whiner's voice harshly insisting that no one would be left behind. The young coxswain needed no further urging but implored us to be careful as the boat was grossly overloaded. Then Harrison pushed me up over the side and the two of us flopped down behind the coxswain as the engine went into gear and the boat moved towards the midstream. So now they get across the river, they get dropped off and, and to answer your question earlier, once they get dropped off and they're on the other side, of the, they're on the western side of the Rhine River, it's basically secure area. Mm -hmm. Even though it was only you know several hundred yards away, it was relatively secure. Mm. And now what they have to do is they have to march back about five miles to get to an even more secure base. Here we go back to the book. As we reached the track, which after a few hundred yards led us to the road. When I stopped, the men flopped to the ground, empty and lifeless, lacking any wish to go on. More parties of men appeared through the darkness, shambling in the exhaustion of relief. All terror ended, devoid of the willpower needed to summon up further effort. There was only one way to make the two-mile march bearable, an old-fashioned remedy. I called to Sergeant Weiner to fall the men in threes. The disciplined bark bounced back to me as Weiner pulled himself to his feet, shouting to the men to fall in. There was no trace of query or surprise in Weiner's voice, and the men shuffled to their feet. That's, that's your root training right there. That you're exhausted after eight days of continuous combat. You're just done. Mm -hmm. And the sergeant says, all right, on your feet, form a column of threes. And you do it. Mm 